All right, to get uh, excited for the upcoming cross season, I dusted off the old giant TCX gravel grinder slash cross bike. I think it's a 2013 model I bought back in 2014 for, I forget, like $1,200 or $1,300. It was a standard 2x10 set up with uh, um, mechanical brakes, you know, typical cross bike at that price point. It did have a carbon fork and a carbon seat post, which is actually pretty nice. So I went ahead and upgraded it to a um, SRAM Apex double tap, single chain ring, uh, 40 up front, 42, um, I think it's a Shimano 1142. Um, there's the derailleur. I went ahead and put on WTB I-25s. I laced up uh, some Hope uh, Pro 4 hubs, some Shimano Ice Tech rotors, Hope skewers. Put on a um, SRAM, oh, what the heck was that thing? The mountain bike crank, uh, something 14. I forget which exactly which one it was. It's not the X1 or anything like that but it's just a standard 24 millimeter um, SRAM crank. Uh, my neck was hurting, so I put this crazy uprise gooseneck stem on. It's kind of ridiculous looking, but it makes my neck feel better. A nice uh, pure gel WTB uh, saddle. And uh, I think I did upgrade the rotor here first and that's just a SRAM upgraded rotor and I laced up a Hope Pro 4 front hub to the same uh, tire and uh, wheel combo WTB i25 got the uh, WTB Riddler uh, 45C tires a little big I noticed it does uh, rub just a, a smidge when I corner real hard especially in the rear but uh, it's the old 135 millimeter rear spacing so you know that's about as big as you can get a 45c on um, an older geometry style cross bike but overall it's it's fun as hell um, it goes fast and uh, it rides nice in the grass I haven't really tried it in rocks and on a gravel road yet but I've done dirt and grass and it it runs great there you go